Harry, if you would like to have a chat, that would be great. <laughs> Sophie Does Nails has returned for the day. This is why I don't do nail videos anymore, guys. <laughs> I filmed two videos today and I've just realised that the two videos that I filmed, my microphone was not plugged in properly and so it's recorded both those videos with my camera audio which isn't the best and I'm really sorry. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am back from my little trip away. If you follow my Instagram, you might have seen that me and James went to Lapland for a few days and honestly, it was so good. I have got a vlog coming on my vlog channel very soon actually. It'll probably be going up in the next sort of few days, but I'm now home. And I was unpackaging my parcels that arrived while we were away and I opened one of them and I was like, what is this? Because all the boxes were just plain like this on the inside and it was just in an envelope and I was like, huh? And then I opened it and I realized it was my Harry Styles pleasing brand order, which I completely forgot about because I pre-ordered it back whenever pre-order was released. I think it was in November, but the goods were finally delivered. So if you have been living under a rock, Harry Styles has launched his own brand called Pleasing. James actually opened this one and he was like, so if What's the pleasing pen? Because it does sound a little bit sexual, but I mean, it's Harry Styles, so that fits. But today I'm gonna be giving you my honest first impressions of all of this stuff. And if you wanna find out more, just keep watching. And I have got to say, the website does look very aesthetically pleasing. So just a little overview of the brand. It is cruelty free, it's vegan, the products are gluten free. It says in their FAQ section that their products are ethically sourced and made. And it says, pleasing is committed to operating in an economically, socially, environmentally suitable manner, respecting human rights, monitoring the safety and integrity of our products, and reducing the environmental footprint of our supply chain, our core tenets of who we are and what we do, which I really like. But it does seem like he's put more sort of thought behind the brand and the ethics of the brand. So the products that are currently available on the pleasing website are the pleasing pen. This is 23 pounds in the UK, and I do think that they do ship internationally. Shipping in the UK was seven pounds though, which little bit of a stretch. And this is a refreshing eye gel and matte lip oil in one thing. We then have got the Pearlescent Illuminating Serum, which looks like this in the box. And that one is 27 pounds. So it's definitely more of like a high-end brand. And then we have the nail polish set, which is called the Perfect Polish Set. This was 50 quid. It looks like this. It does also come with some nail stickers. You get four shades of nail polish and you can also buy these individually, I believe, for 16 pounds each, which again is pretty, you know, it's, not, it's definitely on the higher end level. Because even like higher end nail polishes like OPI I think is like £12.50? £12? And Nails Inc is like £10? So £16 a bottle is quite a lot for a nail polish. But then also I do understand at the same time that ethically producing and sourcing uh, things and also making it environmentally friendly does bump up the cost of things. So that could be part of the reason as well. But again, I don't know. Harry Styles is not here. I can't ask him. Harry, if you would like to have a chat, that would be great. <laughs> I've actually just seen that the total of all the products came to £100. There was £7 shipping and £20. £21.40 in taxes. So I'm guessing it's not UK based. That's why the shipping was higher because it doesn't come from the UK. So the first thing that I'm actually gonna dive into is the nail set, the perfect polish set. Soph Does Nails has returned for the day. If you didn't know and you haven't watched my channel before, I used to be called Soph Does Nails on here. I am pretty familiar with nail stuff. So I thought I would test these and bring back my old self. <laughs> I did the nail portion of this video yesterday. So I'm gonna just play those clips now. Hello everyone, welcome to my nail station. I really feel like I'm doing an ASMR video. And I have got my naked nails, which I very rarely show on camera, and I feel a bit self-conscious about them, I'm not gonna lie, because they're not perfect. Um, these four fingers are all right. The rest of them are a bit wonky, and I also suffer with a thing called dermatophagia, where I basically, like, chew the skin around my fingers, which is really gross, so let's try and not look at that too much. So I'm not gonna show you this hand, because it's a lot worse, and, like, my thumbs are a lot worse. I'm gonna focus mostly on these four fingers. And the number one question that I get asked whenever I show my natural nails is, how do your nails never break? And the answer is, they do. Both of my thumbs were broken, this middle finger was broken, and I repaired them with some nail glue, some tissue paper, like, toilet tissue, like, thin layers of that nail glue and then a strong layer of builder gel and the main reason why my nails stay strong is because they're pretty much always reinforced with like either gel polish mostly gel polish or regular nail polish so they've always got like layers of something on there yeah, i'm not gonna lie guys when i first saw these on tiktok i did think it was a butt plug <laughs> I thought they looked a bit questionable, okay? But um, I do actually really like the marble tops. I think they look quite pretty. You know what I've just noticed? I thought this was black, but it's like a navy, almost like a pearlescent navy. That's really pretty. 
I think these are some nail stickers. This one is obviously not a nail sticker. That's for like sticking on, I don't know, what you would stick this on, like your laptop or something. And then these are the nail stickers that it comes with uh, if you buy the set for 50 quid. They're just some little stickers that you can put on and then you put a top coat over the top of them, but you've got small letters and big letters in white, black, and red. To be honest, you can get stuff like this for really, really cheap on eBay, but I do quite like it. I think it is quite Harry. I'm sure I've seen him with some nail stickers on before. You get 13 mil of products in each of these, which I think is pretty standard for higher end nail polish, I guess. So the set doesn't have a base coat, so I am just gonna paint a base coat on all my nails. And this one is just by Cutex. So I think how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna do two coats of all of the polishes to see sort of how opaque they are. And then I'll probably take that off and then do like a proper nail design with them just so that it doesn't look like I've got weirdly mismatched nails. So I'm gonna start with this one, which is called Pearly Tops. And I'm gonna use this just by itself. It is a sort of topper. First impressions, the brush actually looks like a really nice shape. It's got like a nice sort of rounded end to it, which is usually the best for applying nail polishes when you're sort of, you know, pushing them all the way up to your cuticle. It's actually really hard to do this when my hand isn't blocking the frame. I really need to rest my hands. Oh my God, I can't do this, my hands are too shaky. This is why I don't do nail videos anymore, guys. <laughs> so that is just one coat by itself. You can only very slightly see the reflective sort of pearliness in it. So now that it's dried, it has got a slight sort of matte finish. It looks more shiny on camera because I've got these massive lights, but... And it does say on the website, this polish is clear with a subtle iridescence and a matte finish, which I would say is what it is. This one is called Inky Pearl, and it's described on the website as a pearlescent black with a deep blue radiance and glossy finish. Can you even see me applying it? I don't even think you can. Oh god, it is so hard to do this. That's such an awkward angle. Oh, she is opaque. Whenever I get any excess, I just take a brush with a bit of like nail polish remover. You know what, guys? I'm impressed with that. That was a bit of a one coat wonder. You probably wouldn't need a second coat, but I will do a second coat just because. I'm a big fan of that one, actually. Perfect Pearl is a pearlized white with a glossy finish. If I'm being honest, these sort of like pearlized finishes are usually the last thing that I would go for with nail polish. I either like it to be like a full color or like glitter or actually this one is quite pretty, like this kind of pearl, but I don't know, this type of pearliness kind of reminds me of the stuff that I would wear when I was like 10 years old that I would buy from Claire's. <laughs> and also if you do have any lumps and bumps on your nails, wearing these sort of like pearlescent finish nail polishes usually emphasizes those. And because some of my nails are a bit wonky, like especially on this hand, they grow funny. Like some of them go in funny directions. It just looks a bit weird with a pearly finish. So I usually just go with like glitter. Sorry that this angle is a bit shit. <laughs> It's the best I could do. Why am I shaking? Hmm. This one is streaky. God, the more that I try to make it not streaky, it's just getting streakier. Guys, I keep trying to fix it, but it just keeps getting worse. Can you see that one? It was really quite streaky. Definitely not the same sort of opacity as the black one, which I mean, white polishes tend to be a bit more streaky anyway, but I do have some white polishes that perform a lot better than that one. And they were a lot cheaper than 16 pounds. I'm sorry, Harry Styles. Just off the initial application of that, I would not say it's worth the money because like, fair enough, you might want a sheerer pearlescent polish but you don't want it to be streaky. This one is called Granny's Pink Pearls. This is probably the last color that I would ever reach for when painting my nails. I'm not really a pink kind of person. Well, not this kind of pink anyway. It's very like, you know, very bubblegum pink, but I would say it is quite a Harry Styles shade. So I like that he sort of picked colors that he likes and not just things that he thinks would sell. Okay, that one isn't fully opaque, but it definitely went on nicely. It was smoother than the white one, that's for sure. But so far, my favourite one is definitely the black. So I'm just going to do a second coat on all of them, and we'll see how they're looking. So this is what my nails look like with two coats of everything. I've actually just put one coat on my thumb. To be honest, guys, after just my initial first impressions, the only one that I would actually probably repurchase is the black one. Because the others, like, they're fine, but I don't think that they're worth £16, if I'm being completely honest. However, I have got to say, like, I do like the sort of um, idea and the messaging behind the brand. Like it says inside the box, it's a bit hard to read. It says our minimal packaging choices emphasize a light footprint and each formula adheres to vegan, cruelty-free and clean principles. And it says that this carton is compostable, 100%. It's printed with soy and water-based inks. The brush bristles are made from castor bean. The nail polish formula is biodegradable and it's from sustainable plant-based solvents. And it's free of like a whole other things. Honestly, I really like that about the brand. And that would make me more likely to repurchase from them again because you know that it's like not the worst brand in the world for the planet. What I'm actually going to do now is put the pearly matte top coat on my nails to see how it looks over the top of the other three. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, and I've got to say as well, they actually dried really quickly. I really hope you can see. It sort of transformed the blackish blue colour into more of like a navy with the slight blue pearlescent finish in the top coat. But I'm just waiting for it to dry because it is drying down to that more sort of matte look finish. It's really, really pretty on that one. But yeah, I'm just not really feeling the white and the pink shades. I guess then you wouldn't put a top coat on it, like a separate top coat, because then it would just take away that sort of matte finish. I'm gonna probably paint them all with this color, maybe leave the topper on this nail and do it on my thumb. And then I'll do some kind of design. I'll see if the white can work as like a nail art kind of shade. And I'll try some of the stickers as well. I am gonna use these white stickers. I think I'm just gonna put either snow or Xmas on my nails because I don't know what other four letter or five letter word to do. If I can get these off. Okay, so it's like a, should I just stick it on? Yeah, okay, I need to do it up this way. Okay, well that was easy. You do have to really push it down, otherwise you can kind of see where the sticker is. I would definitely recommend using tweezers if you have any. Now I'm going to try some nail art with the white and that will be my last thing that I do. There we go, we have a snowflake. You know what, that did actually work better than I was expecting it to, but it's not fully opaque. It'd be much better just using like a stronger white nail polish or just some acrylic paint. That is the snowflakes done. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling this design. I feel like with the stickers, it just makes it look a bit cheap. I'm using the Nails Ink 45 second top coat. Oh my God, that looks even more beautiful with a shiny top coat on it. Why didn't you just make the other one shiny? In order to get the stickers to actually stay on and not just peel off, you would need a top coat anyway. I do actually think they look much cuter with a shiny top coat on. To conclude, do I think that these nail polishes are worth the money? No. <laughs> I like this color, but the others I just don't think are that great to be honest i don't think they're worth the price if you are a collector and you have all your nail polishes on display then the bottles are actually really pretty i love all the tops of the bottles i th do think that they look expensive and they feel expensive there we go those are my nails so like I mentioned, those clips of me doing my nails were filmed yesterday. Just a little update on my nails. You know what? I've actually been pretty impressed with them. They do actually feel like good quality nail polish on my fingers. The only thing that I've noticed is that these stickers that I stuck on, even though I put a top coat over the top, some of them are starting to sort of lift at the edges here. So this is what the nails are looking like today. But yeah, some of the stickers, I don't really know how well you can sort of tell are starting to sort of lift a bit at the edges. And I also don't know how closely you can see. I did do a couple of bits of my nails yesterday, like opening packages, and then I also like showered, washed my hair, redid my tan. They held up pretty well, but they are starting to come away from the end of my nail just a little bit. I don't really know how well you can actually see that on camera. I really don't know if you can actually see this, but like on the end of my nails, there's just like a little bit of like them starting to chip a tiny bit just at the very, very ends, which is why these days I sort of tend to wear gels most of the time. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the nail polishes. So I'm now gonna move on to the skincare stuff. Pearlescent Illuminating Serum Moisturizing Formula contains vitamin B5, antioxidants, and amino acids for all skin types. I'm interested to see what those antioxidants are because I don't think it actually lists them. The encapsulated pearls create a subtle, smooth luminescence that dissolves into the formula when dispensed. Use daily alone or as a priming base for makeup. And then the pen, the Pleasing Pen's two potent serums are delivered with cooling steel rollers to refresh lips and eyes. Yes, please. A fresh eye gel with natural lingonberry, okra, and hyaluronic salt. Hyaluronic salt? Hydrates and awakens tired under eyes while the demi matte lip treatment with soothing marshmallow replenishes lips. When I had tonsillitis, I was eating marshmallows because it really soothed the throat. Little life hack there. So I'm going to do the Pleasing Pen first. You know what? It's actually glass. I thought it was gonna be plastic, but it feels cold. And then in the middle, it's like metal. Uh, that one's got an eyeball on it, that one's got a lip on it. So I'm gonna do the lip one first because my lips are so dry. Okay, so it's like that. Guys, it doesn't smell of anything. That's okay. I'm just trying to get like enough on. I don't actually know what I think of that texture, you know? Because it says it's like a demi-matte texture. Unless it's gonna dry down, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's demi-matte. But it just feels weird. It feels like I've put just like a face oil on my lips. It doesn't have any sort of stickiness. Obviously like a lip oil generally doesn't because it's oily and slippery. But compared to other lip oils that I've tried, this one feels a lot thinner and it feels more like a face oil. It doesn't feel like it has any sort of like stickiness to it or anything that sort of keeps it on your lips. 
I won't lie though, it sort of feels just like it's sitting on top of my lips. My lips are really, really dry today and I feel like it's not like sinking into them. Then let's try the Pleasing Pen Eye Gel. One side thing that I do just want to say is I almost feel like the, the roller ball is pushed a little bit too far into the actual packaging. So you can sort of feel like the edges of the plastic around it on your skin. Let's see if it's the same for my eyes. Yeah, you can sort of feel like those little edges of the plastic hitting your skin as the rollerball goes across it. So maybe they should have made the, I think they should have made the rollerball a little bit bigger maybe. Oh, this does feel nice. Cause it's cool, I like that, it feels good. Oh, it does feel really cooling now on this side. It's just a little bit tricky to actually get the product out. <sighs> yeah, I really feel like they need to make the rollerball a bit bigger or like have it sticking out a bit more because the edges of the plastic sort of like rub across your skin at the same time. It's definitely doing something. It feels really cool now actually. Like not just the rollerball, the actual product feels like it's cooling my under eyes. Is there like peppermint in this or something? It sort of feels like that tingling sensation. It's kind of a weird sensation, but I kind of like it at the same time. Mm, yeah, I'm not too keen on this lip oil. I feel like it's just not really moisturizing my lips and I just feel like I want to go put on a lip balm. I'm sorry. I can still feel this like tingling on my under eyes. It was really, really thin and it does feel like it's fully sunk into my under eyes. Let's go on to the illuminating serum and see what this does. Oh, that's pretty solid. So this is what it looks like. It's a very sort of solid formula. It's not really moving much. Let's try shaking it. It's very, it's very thick in here. Oh. Okay, it's moving too quickly to sort of show you, but it just looks kind of bubbly. It doesn't look overly shimmery. It smells kind of like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Oh, it does feel nice. This one feels like it's sinking in. It feels really refreshing. It feels really thin, but at the same time, like it definitely feels like it's hydrating my skin. That actually feels really nice. And it's left my skin slightly tacky, which I like. And I think it has given me a glow. I had nothing on my skin before, other than the eye serum, obviously. But yeah, I think my skin looks really nice. How does it work with those little bead things in it? Like, do you sometimes get a little bit of shimmer? Okay, so I think it's got little bits in it. Let me just try and show you. Can you see there's almost like little tiny bits of that shimmery stuff in there? But it's nothing sort of overwhelming. Can't see any shimmer actually on my skin. And it doesn't seem to sting, which is great because my skin is quite sensitive. Yeah, it feels really nice and I think my skin looks really nice. Um, it's just got a slight sort of tackiness to it, but I think overall my skin looks really glowy. I actually really like the feeling of this. What I am just going to do is put some makeup over the top and see if it sort of peels or does anything weird or if my makeup looks nice over the top of it. just using the Fenty Ease Drops. I think I've got the shade pour. Yes, things we love to see. I deliberately used a brush because if I do have any products that will sort of peel my makeup, using a brush usually makes it 10 times worse. So I thought if this can survive a foundation being applied with a brush, and not peel or look weird underneath, then I know that it's a good base for my makeup. And you know what, guys? I am happy to confirm that my makeup has applied beautifully over the top of that. Normally, if I get any peeling, it will be sort of like round here or around my nose or in between my eyebrows. I can't see any of that. It looks really smooth. I'm happy with that serum. I would choose this over the lip and the eye thing. I can still feel my under eyes tingling a bit. So to conclude this video, this is me done with my pleasing products. What do you guys think? Do you think that this is just another celebrity jumping on the bandwagon? Do you think that Harry is genuinely passionate about it? I know that he does like his nail art and having his nails painted and stuff and he's done some really cool sort of looks. And I was sort of hoping to see a bit more of like a variety of nail colors, maybe some more fun colors and some different stickers that aren't just letters. I swear I've seen him with some really cute smiley face nails. Yeah, like the yellow smiley face nails. Those were so cute. And he's also had some blue nails, some fruits. He could have easily done a sort of like watermelon sugar themed nail set. I'm gonna answer a question of the day quickly and then we will wrap up this video. If you guys have got any questions for me, can literally be about anything, leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day. Also as well, I just wanna say a big thank you for you guys for supporting my recent sponsored content. I did mention on my Twitter that I always feel kind of guilty when I do more sponsorships, which I know that I shouldn't because this is my job. And at the end of the day, like I hope you guys have noticed that I very carefully choose my sponsorships and only work with brands and 
certain products that I actually genuinely use and would recommend. But whenever I have like a busier time in terms of sponsorships, I always just feel slightly bad. I do see like both sides in how influencers doing ads can come across as annoying. However, I think it depends on the ad and like what you're actually promoting to your audience because there are a whole load of things that I have turned down and don't promote to you guys and I only really pick the things that I think you would actually like and I actually really like and would recommend to my friends and family and would recommend to you guys. So yeah, I just wanna say thank you for your support of my sponsored content because November and December are usually the busiest times and especially like on my YouTube channel, I don't usually do or take that many sponsorships. But at the moment, I seem to have like one a week. So I just wanted to say thank you because a lot of you guys have just been really nice. So yeah. Today's question comes from Sally Suggs and she has said, I love watching your videos, especially the Duke videos and your first impression videos. Thank you very much. Do you think you'll ever dye your hair a non-natural colour again? I think you'd look super cute with aqua tips. You know what? As much as I would love to, I think maybe I'm past that stage in my life now. I might potentially one day do like a wash out pink colour or maybe a purple, but I wouldn't do blue again just because it destroyed my hair and blue is so hard to get out of your hair it pretty much just stains it and especially if your hair is blonde and so I just don't think I would do it because my hair is in such better condition now than it used to be when I used to have it sort of like white and all the crazy colours but I don't know maybe one day I would do a temporary pink or something maybe I'd get a nice wig but yeah I think I think I'm just past that stage of my life now I'm gonna go I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope you found it helpful I hope you're doing okay and I will see you in my next video bye